この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしますオーライディー、ウェルコムエブリワン、アイムティアブー、アイムヒーフォー、グルーズ・ウン・パンザー、ダスフィナーリー、ナンバー2。ラストウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィークウィ
<laughs> yeah. Oh, there it is. Totally. Yeah. That's the only good thing? Come on. They're pretty cool. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. Oh, um... Of course you were. Lead us in. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right. Okay, that was exactly as expected. Goofy and fun and pretty close to worthless. <laughs> but but I do have some things to talk about about this, which are is quite surprising. Um. So I'm looking. I'm looking specifically at the the highlights in the hair. Look how crisp the edges of them are. Now, unfortunately, because this will be, like, recorded from my screen and then re-encoded, it won't look as crisp on your screen. But to me, these chibis look incredibly crispy. Like, really good. Look at just, I mean, the, the, yeah. I, I think these were drawn big and then, and then shrunk down. I don't know how you would get that kind of fidelity otherwise. That's really cool. Okay, they, they just look really good. I like these chibi designs, and I, I, I like the style of them a lot. Which is really surprising, because I don't often like chibis very much. Um, often I find they're, they're just an excuse to reduce detail. But this is almost the opposite. They are so detailed. That's cool. Okay. Cool, thank you, Momo. I appreciate your... Information? Panzer Four, yeah, wah, wah, woo, we did it. Okay, let's let's watch the thing, shall we? Again, Taiyaki War exists. I think Taiyaki War might fit here as well, if we wanted it to, but uh, it's too much. Okay, fifty-four minutes, fifty fifty-seven seconds of Girls and Panzer Das Finale number two. I grabbed this from AK Submarines. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. I probably should have. It's the AK Submarines V two. It's available. You can get it. It's on Yah. Okay, okay. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Girls and Panzer Dos Finale number two. Beep beep timer. Let's do it. I really hope we get that OP again. Showgate. This one's new. I don't like it. That M is freaky. Oh. I've never seen that animated. I guess because I'm only used to seeing Bandai Namco come up when it's in the opening of Dark Souls. Because <laughs> you have to spam escape to get out of it. Okay, we are getting the OP. Oh. <laughs> it's so good. Was that 24? <laughs> Random. Fuck this OP. That is cr- Yeah. The different styles that they bring up all the characters in those flashes, like, one anime OP would use one of those throughout and be fine. Fucking yes. Mm. All right, here we go. 
We're at the midpoint. Vroom, vroom. Oh, she's got hearts on the back of the thing, like Queen of Hearts almost. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, and they're all working together. Yahoo? Where'd she get another cake? Eh, it doesn't matter. Hmm. I assume all of this was covered in Taiyaki War. Okay. <laughs> I dropped it. I dropped it. <laughs> Just picking it up and redropping it each time. Beautiful. Oh shit. Assault from the side. <laughs> that look of shock on Mari's face was wonderful. Ugh. <laughs> Priorities. Okay. Are we sure that we're not just being corralled somewhere? They do not. Neither do ships. So, whatever. <laughs> right. We only listen to Momo. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Hmm. Right, so exactly what they think. Oh. Oh. What's gluing them together? There are real. We can create a wedge. Okay, so it's it's that it's a goal that overwhelms their actual. Oh, I don't know what that means, but okay. How would we test that? But how would we test that, though? Yeah, try to drive a wedge. We're going to pretend. One, two, three, four, five. That's a lot of layers. That's very cool. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> That's gorgeous. And bunts. It really it 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 does kind of just like look like France. <laughs> hmm. But what's the play here? Jesus. Okay, so we're blocking their view so that we can do this. But what are we're sneaking around behind? Trying to get one of our tanks inside their numbers or something? What are we doing here? Okay. Do 
just trying to figure out where the tanks that they want to, to mess with are, okay? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> it's some kind of tank. I don't know. It's some fucking tank. All right, what is the play here, Mallard team? <laughs> That's very strange looking. They must be wondering what they're doing. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I see what we're doing. Who shot me? Oh, this is great. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, it doesn't work. Until it works. Okay, okay, come on. You. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Jesus. That tank. And it all falls down. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Ah, ha, 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 ha. You fools. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I I just wrote down whole infighting sequence because this entire sequence is amazing. Where did they get souffles? There's no oven near here. You can't bake that. That falls. You can't take that with you. What the fuck? All right, so you're gonna... Holy shit. Oh, we've done that before. A. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Haha, <sighs> <laughs> ha, gotcha. Hmm. 
<laughs> More cake. Now yeah, let's figure out what's really going on here. <laughs> Bow! <laughs> Well, that's not... That's not a Selmua. Well, shit. Your service has been appreciated, Sodoko. Whoops. <laughs> okay, didn't last very long. Took out some tanks. So we took out two Selmoas and a couple of AR whatevers. So we're down we're down a good number. Jesus. Running the gauntlet, eh? Oh, man. Wow, sacrifice. That doesn't seem worth firing on. Whoa! <laughs> uh oh. Oh, poor volleyball girls. Wait, what? I'll give it to Mari again, yeah. That was dope. <laughs> and we're going for fried onions again. All right, trying to save Mari, trying to save the flag tank. Oh, and one by one, we lose them, yeah. Now it's just Mari, right? And it's just her voice, yeah. Oh, shit. Nope. Welp. Alrighty, then. Ow. Let the meat cake. Hot damn! It's ogre! And of course. And we're not even close to halfway, so... <laughs> that was a really fun battle, dude. Hmm. Hmm. I probably should have watched Hayaki War first.
you damn goat herder. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is she going to go and... Oh, no. She's sharing snacks. Nice. Yeah. I'm friendly as fuck. Good. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I don't know, Marie, if you would want that very much, considering the historical figure that you seem to be modeled off of. You do not want revolution, girl. <laughs> you don't want that. You don't want that at all. All right, we did it. So is Momo saved? Are we done? It's over, I guess? No. Hey, they got snacks, too. <laughs> I love them. Oh, they just continue to grow on me. I had, of course, heard the most. So, we, we just, we did it. And we are into montage land. Price negotiable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, I'm going to assume so. Are you Boko in this in this vision and you're about to get the shit kicked out of you? Which happens. Which, yeah. It is a 4D Boko ride. What? I mean... Huh? Oh, god damn it, Boko. You're not good at street. Okay. Stops, just fails. Holy fuck. You can't just you can't just Disney it up like that. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. The turtle rivals. Yes. Okay, that was very sweet. Can we just, like, can we mention again that the Boko idea is fucking weird and I don't like it? Hmm.
Yeah, hot. <laughs> hot, hot. Aww. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Who is who are they up against? <laughs> Maybe not charging in. Literally anything but that as another option. Wait, is that Bocordi? Oh my god, I just I just put it together. Indeed. Um, or charge however you'd like. Yeah, who's the opponent? That's what matters. Are they powerful? Or are they just Australia? I assume they're just Australia. <laughs> the Looks like your koala's a good fucking commander. Vice Commander Wallaby. They are charging in a single line. And we are fighting in desert. Was that just a thought experiment or was that real? What announcement? What announcement? Hmm. Passing along all the all the responsibilities. Not for not for Momo. That's a cool place. Whoa, that dog. That animation on that dog was awesome. That is a much smaller dog than I thought it was. Perspective is weird. Oh. No. Mama is ill? Mm-hmm. But we understand. And we just introduced this by Momo does too much work for the student council, you know? Maybe. But there's a while ago. Yeah, it would be a problem. It's money. Hey. Hey. Ah. They did? How? What? Yeah, but what was the what was the advice that they just took? Yeah, no, we can't assume anything. They just got some advice. 
whatever whatever that girl took away from that, which we don't understand, she turned into a win. Oh, hi, Majino. <laughs> Let him have it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Pravda? Hey, what's up? Oh, we got hand signals. What's VF? Viking Viking Forest? Not forest, probably. Hey, hi Saunders. Okay, who is this overly big titty school? We 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 noticed them before. Who is that? Jesus. Klong. Oh, hey, Centurions. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really matter because they're fucking awesome. <laughs> they're just cool. That smoke was really neat. That sounds like CVs to me. Oh, hi. Huh. Chiatan Orai, Saunders, Keizoku. Okay, cool. And we're just moving into it. Perfect. We just, we spend some time doing some personal things because they're awesome and then we move along. Oh my god, that crowd. Okay, so it's Chihatan. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. That's what I'm afraid of. You know, we're not, we're not gods. We're not crazy. We just want to win. Okay, then. Well, you'll try. Fua! Yo-ho! Zenshi! Excellent. So, what's changed? Because the line that she, she picked up on was something like, it seems the same, but it's not quite the same. So it's like a faux charge. Like a charge into encircle. Because Koala Forest was prepped for a single straight line charge. Oh, they're little droney thingies. I see. <laughs> Gangle. Why? Ooh, uh, that seems like it might slow you down. 
Mm. Mm. Then that's why we put it on the back. It'll be fine. <laughs> yes, you are. Eh? Hey? Not the flag. But they're not charging. But they're not charging. Remember what we said. Stepping charge. We charge and then stop. Uh. Uh. It's just fire. It's just fire. <laughs> They figured out how to shoot without moving. Oh my god. It's all over. They're too powerful now. They have they have d uncovered the great technique. <laughs> mm. Oh, okay, so it's a retreat? <laughs> Flawless. Flawless logic. It's not retreating. It's a goodbye charge. All we have to do... <laughs> all we have to do is make all of our strategies sound like charges. Nope. They just think they're charging. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Oh my god. That's amazing. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Bigger flag. Oh, okay. That's a good line. I'll give it to you. That's a good line. <laughs> oh, yeah, because they had the... Yeah. That's actually really fun. They've become way too powerful. <laughs> like all of these things, yes. <laughs> uh. Jeez, yeah, real jungle fighting. Sucks. Comms. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, geez. Why is she looking inside? Is there cake inside? Oh, oh, the rose bath. Yes, mm, quite. Sorry, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a gangoodle. <laughs> I suppose. We gonna get stuck in a mud puddle? We gonna get stuck in a mud puddle. We gonna push somebody out of a mud puddle? Let's get them out of a mud puddle. Let's go. Oh, let's just dig deeper. Again.
Oh, we're turning on the Nas. Oh, jeez. Poof. Ooh, could we use that as a strategy? Yeah, we could use that as a strategy, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, that was another little awesome moment. <laughs> Just launched. Hi. Uh, nope. Nope. What's that one? Hmm. A long, long distance charge. So, so it's artillery. Just, just artillery. Yep. <laughs> That's really smart. Yeah. It's really smart. Okay, so we've set up ourselves a little trap. Oh, I'm sure you'll get more than a few bites now that the sun is setting in the jungle. Oh, buddy. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Ooh, that's a cool moon. Hi, owl. You're a cool-looking owl. Holy shit. Mmm. There are spooky bookies out there. <laughs> Oh no. I assume that this is some well-known song. Uh, what that? Find something? Another kind of charging. Hmm. 
<laughs> no such risk. Yeah, what? She's so awake. <laughs> it's very weird. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't even try it. <laughs> oh, sure. No way. No way. They're you it's the same thing that they did with the ducks. A type to ka me? All right. <laughs> nice, really nice touch that there's a lot of mud on Mallard team's uh, tank because they got stuck. Okay, so it's an amphibious tank thing? That's fucking awesome. Oh god, there's another one. The stug? One thirty six, very, very specific. Oh my god. <laughs> One duck versus another. All right. They saved the stug though, that's important. And what is that one? Slowly move forward while while firing. <laughs> Amazing. Unless Mada 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 Mada. But are we getting played? So yeah, we did put high heavy armor. Okay. So that's just charging, right? That's just charging. <laughs> ah. This is serious. Who would have thought that Chihatan would be a real contender? Wow. Don't let him get a shot. Don't let him get a shot. Wow. No. <laughs> Oh, 
some kind of strategy? Or was Nishi Nishizumi just uh, ordering Antlion Pit? That's my expectation. Hmm. They do. Okay, we're doing side, 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 side again. What are we building to? Just bursting through. Okay, we just broke through. We're free. Now we're the ones leading and being chased. Wow. Losing them. They're just following the tracers now. Yeah, we know. Not all of our tanks have to be where those tracers are coming from. They could have spread. They could be behind you. They could be next to you. Water. Mud. Alright, you think you are. Confidence in the moment. Well, they figured it out. But is it too late? Oh my god. It's too late. Oh my god. Oh, I was going to say all but one. What if she had the chance to survive? That would be crazy. Hello. Welcome to our trap. Hello. Ute. Now we can just surround and bombard and block the exit. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Please let me charge. I just want to charge out of here. Let me get out of here. I want to charge. <laughs> oh, poor things. They they just can't. We changed forward is this way now. How how can you say this? Yeah. Not a goodbye charge. A retreat. Wow. They just got even more dangerous. No what? <laughs> And we are almost at the end now. So we're doing the same thing where we almost get them, but then we don't. Yeah, they have. Ah. Ah. Of course. Feels like we're building to the fiend.
Is that uh, Mari's thing? I think it is. Looks like it. Yeah. Okay, Das Finale 2. I think it was really good. I think Das Finale 1 was really good too. So now we get a bit of a format that I think we could, if we wanted to, settle into for the foreseeable future of Das Finales. I don't know that we will, but I could see this being the format that we follow, which is finish the second half of the battle that was left hanging at, in, in the last episode, have a, a central segment of, well, it's as an ordered chapter listed as a slice of life segment, where our characters reconvene and do fun things and are rewarded for their victories and do stuff and get new teammates if we're going to have new teammates and get new tanks if we're going to have new tanks and all of that jazz, or just go around to the Boca Museum and have fun and talk and chat, and maybe if we really feel like it, we can include a little bit of setup for the future. Which in this case is this, which is that, uh, yeah, it's the same. You can, you can cook it however you want and eat it however you want. And it's the same either way. Yeah. Yeah. We're free to choose and there's not just one path. Boom. Suddenly Chihatan ascends to a dangerous school. And then, of course, there's the final segment of the episode, which in this case is the majority of the second half and is focused on the actual match. So let's talk about those three sections in turn, shall we? First section, we're going to be fighting Mari. Uh, we start off with a pretty significant change of scenery once we move into the bocage or bocage, 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 bocage. Yeah, which is the the pastoral, like woodlandy, part farmy, part hedgerowy land. Um, this whole area, the ju just the aesthetic that they've gone for, the type of stone that makes up the cobblestone path that they're on at one point, the general aesthetic of things, the the build and structure of this building and the 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 multicolored poppies along with other other things it all just screams rural france and like it, it screams it it's perfect like um you you just you can't help but think of the the opening sequences of um film film inglorious bastards the opening sequence oh, wait is it? It is. Yeah, of Inglorious Bastards with Hans Landa and the, the whole the whole family. Like that's the location that we're in right now. We're in rural France. That's that's it. You want some milk? You don't want milk. You don't. You you really don't. But it's beautiful. It, it's just gorgeous. The fact that we not only created this entire landscape and environment, but also modeled it and made it available to us for CG and for dynamic camera shots because we're going to have an extended CG battlescape occur in this location with destructible uh, uh, destructible terrain. Like those hedgerows get blown the fuck out over the course of this battle. And there are going to be tons of dynamic camera movements following tanks as they whip around corners and and bounce off of each other and there's we have to have all of it modeled so that on its own is 
freaking impressive that this landscape is modeled out. Then there's the further part, which is the, the actual battle. Um, strategically, this is really fun when we push for, for understanding where all of their, their tanks are so that we can maneuver one of our own tanks that happens to look like one of theirs to make them seem like they're fighting one another. Very smart. Uh, the actual conveyance of how they're tricked is perfect. And then we move into the actual incredible, almost silent in terms of dialogue at least, uh, genuinely incredible infighting sequence, which is the only thing that I wrote down about this sequence. Whole infighting sequence. Start to finish, it's everything that I've loved about Gup from the beginning. The creative ways that tanks take each other out, the creative encounters, the the insanity of it all, the big bombastic explosions, the the tinks and tonks and clongs as shells land near us or too near us. All of these are perfect. It's just good stuff. It really is. And then it, it just sort of escalates as we get tanks running into each other and pushing each other out of the way and and bashing up against one another and blowing through hedgerows and whipping around and spitting and flipping and like this sequence, yeah. Jesus. That whole thing is insane. Um... And we move it along, move it along. Where where were the ones that go absolutely nuts? Right, the the bam bam we. Oh, it's bam we bam. I remember this because it was so standout. Yeah, the the timing on we bam is perfect. We. The clunks and clanks are amazing. Amazing. And then, of course, there's the, the scene that we already went for and looked at again, which is when she goes for the interrupt. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Crush the Ando team. Oh, wait. Nope, we're going. We got to get out of here. Okay, so set up, set up. Her runny, jumpy thing is amazing. We've talked about it. Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth to a collision. Boom, arrival. Flip, flap, throw a thing in each of the things. Wriggle her way out from underneath. Tell them off. Do a little freaking handspring of badassery. That's so hot. I don't mean like, like, sexually or anything. I mean, that's, that's hot. Oh, that's hot, you know? So then we see the reality and get everything back together. Okay. And this moves us into we're actually teammates and we're working together and it's awesome. And then we move into the the, the defeat because even if they are going to work together, they're still going to lose to Ori, which sucks for them, but is really cool for us. Um, and the way that we defeat them is fantastic. We strip away their, the loyal subjects one by one until we leave the queen on her own and then we take out the queen. That's that's basically how we do this. And one by one, they, they sacrifice themselves for her. Some of these shots, like this POV on the turret, where we're actually locked to the turret in her perspective, is just cool looking. Yeah, getting, getting flip spun around. Woo! Okay, but this cut. So she does this, spins around. They fire. She lines herself up with the side here and then fires. Boom. That's cool. And then there's more stuff like it. We move into the onions and eventually into one by one removing her, her loyal peeps which is really sad. Boom. And we eventually get to a point where, where the Onion song is just her and nobody else. It's kind of somber. Wow. Okay. 
I think it's really cool. And then we end and it's super wholesome and they're all working together and they're happy about it. And she's letting them eat cake because because she's Marie. First segment of three done. I think it was excellent. Second segment of three Goofy things with each of our characters. Boom, boom, boom. They're playing games. They're fishing and stuff. They're doing normal stuff. Okay, great. Then we get the Boca Museum. I, I, honestly, all I can say is that that every time that I see this Boca Museum, it gets weirder. I think I've already covered everything I wanted to say about Boca. It's it's fucking strange that there's this, this, this character that just loses. It's just weird. I get that that's the joke. It's just weird. The The idea of a full 4D immersive Boko get the shit kicked out of you experience is uh, ridiculous. And then the lightning and then go away lightning and then he gets struck by lightning anyway. Weird. Okay. And then there's the setup. Which is this stuff. I actually want to know what this stuff is made of. What is it called? I know it's it's egg and some like nut and... Tarashiyaki. Uh, apparently Tarashiyaki is not a thing? Uh... I mean, yaki is always like fried, right? Tarashi I can find is like dripping or drop. So I'm thinking because the only references to Tarashi Yaki that I can find are girls in pants are related and nowhere else. Plenty of uh, uh, Takayaki, uh, Yaki Niku, like all of the other Yakis, but no Tarashi Yaki. So I'm thinking Tarashi here means drip Yaki. And it seems to be made of like a batter with egg and maybe flour. Uh... And I assume that those are, are like bits of nuts and stuff and uh, 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 spices and things. I don't really know. I, I just don't know what it is. I'm intrigued. I am intrigued. Okay, cool. That, that's quite cool. But uh, I'm going to go with dripping, dripping fried would be the translation of Tarashiyaki, I think. Cool. And then that informs her with a thing. There are some cool posters like the one Bocordi. Bo- Bo- in the background. Um, what's the, the other poster back there? Something strong 10%? I don't know. But whoever's whoever's on that poster is a hottie. And then next to her, it looks like Katusha, but it's not. I don't know. Okay. I, I mean, it might be Katusha. That's neat. All right. We move it along. The charge. But it's not actually a charge. It's It's everything we couldn't expect, which is that they have developed new kinds of charges. That are just all the various techniques that a normal team can normally do. Like, fire. Without moving. (laughs) That's called a stepping charge. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. But we move into the end game where they finally decide that retreating, not goodbye charges, but retreating is sometimes a good option, which is cool. Okay. That moves us along toward the second... A second portion of the episode, which is, of course, the battle. We do get to to touch base with all of the homies, which is really fun. Um, just getting to see everybody strategifying. Uh, okay, hold on. I have, for purely research purposes, that's cool. That's cool. What school is that? I need to know what school that is. I may go to the wiki and look at all the school uh, symbols. Schools, girls, und Panzer. Mm, looking for a little shieldy thingy with blue and a little red. Oh, there it is. Blue. Div- okay, that's Blue Division High School. And the thing that it says in the middle is Azul, which is blue. And they are Spain. And they are they are the big the big the big titty school, right? Why is Spain the 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 big titty school? Uh, I'm not complaining, but I don't get it. Is there is there like a a a, a stereotype that I'm entirely unaware of? Oh, 
Like, I mean, the closest thing is Brazilian girls have big booty. That's 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 the closest bad stereotype that I can think of. I'm also sorry for talking about stereotypes and shit, but what the fuck? Why are they all bodacious Spanish girls? Why? I don't know. Again, no complaints. All right, so we see CBs are doing awesome things. Everybody's doing stuff. Let's look at the bracket really quick. I don't think there's anything that we missed on it. There is Yogurt Academy, so whatever. Kromori Mine won, Pravda won, St. Gloriana, Anzio. Okay, so it'll be Gloriana, Anzio. That's an interesting match. Pravda, Kromori Mine, that's a rematch. Keizoku Saunders, that should be interesting. And then Orai Chiatan, which I'm sure will win. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Into the match. Crowd shots of awesomeness as usual. Uh, also, I didn't really mention it again, but during the Slice of Life portion, there's that whole segment where we meet Momo's family, and it's it's fantastically important for giving us character context for Momo and who she is. It's also just a gorgeous set of pieces of character acting that are unlike anything that Gup has done until this point, and it's, it's truly fantastic. Okay, then we enter into a completely different environment. I have to first shout out just the environmental design. Um... Because it manages to be dark as though there is a forest canopy above us without being difficult to track or difficult to follow. All of the lighting seems to be right, but it's also not difficult to see or obscure. And it's very funny finding out about the variety of charges that they now have under their belt as different options is is all in good fun. It's It's just a blast. Some great landscapes, some good moments, some incredibly detailed forest landscapes that once again have been modeled and are, are CG-able if necessary so that we can maneuver cameras through them if we want to, which is uh, impressive. Let's just call it impressive. Lots of chatter, lots of chat, lots of talking, the rose bath, very strange. The mud pit and the antlion pit and the lead up into using this as a strategic thing is cool. I do want to see the cut where we we ramify this because there was that, yeah, the little flippy dippy thing from Sodoko, I assume. Oh yeah, 24, baby. Woof. Pow. And then she gets bonked and flung straight up in the air, which is super neat. Bonk. Hi. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Remote charge is just a bombardment. <laughs> and then we sing a song. It's beautiful. Mako is super awake at night. And she's a complete night owl, which I would never have expected. And they use some of the strategies that they would have picked up on in their previous battle together, like the use of the big inflatable duck things. That's brilliant. Really, massive props to Chihatan from going for going from a completely one note school to genuine challengers against the 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 current defending champs. That's awesome. Good job, Chihatan. And the whole sequence is is full of bombast and wonderfulness again. Because of course it is. Eventually we end up inside the pit. Oh yeah, yeah, this portion. Where things get really crazy and they actually manage to get the leg up on, on Nishizumi and her squad. This is cool. How we have to actually do an encirclement around the flag tank just to protect it. And we lose tanks in the process. That's amazing. They really pull it off. Gotta give credit where credit is due. And then credit where credit is due using the tracer rounds that we were firing earlier on in order to continue leading them in a direction. Very smart. They pick up on it, but just an instant too late, so they do end up entrapped. But kind of like the way that we got our, you know, we figured out the ploy and and solved it against uh, Mari and and BC Freedom. We solved the problem with versus these girls, but we're still going to have to do one more major final battle, which means that I think that we could continue this kind of a format into the foreseeable future, right? So I would expect in the next DOS finale, where it, whenever the fuck it comes out, uh, that we finish up the Chihatan match. It takes maybe 15 or 20 minutes. We spend 10 or 15 minutes doing slice of lifey stuff, and then the rest of the episode, the first half of another match, and then we can just continue on. That would be really cool. I think that would work great. Ah. <sighs> Okay, 
So first off, I know that I, I, in terms of discussion, I didn't dive as deep as I maybe could have on some of the things in this episode. There are some things that we skimmed over. Um, I will just sort of like broad strokes hand wave them and just say that I think that there was a really good general animation and production and stuff in Das Finale, as we've come to expect. Um, I think that the strategic elements were really fun and exciting and continuously like keeping the interest up. Um, I really like Chihatan evolving as a school, and I like just seeing schools evolve as schools. Um, we didn't really get that with BC Freedom because they're not a school that we really fought before. But... I would love to see more of that. I would love to go up against like Pravda and again and see them get even better, you know, or or go up against uh, Kuromori Mine again and see how they've improved with and changed with Nishizumi moving on and Erika in the seat and all kinds of stuff like that. That could be really neat. <laughs> and then my personal... My personal favorite thing in this episode is actually from the central slice of lifey portions. It's those those cuts of character animation that are so gorgeous and so well done and actually serve a purpose, I think, um, for conveying something about our characters that we might not have known otherwise. I think that's amazing. I think this is a really excellent 50-minute film thing, and Girls in Pencil Dos Finale keeps getting better. And now we're done. And now it's like six years until the next one comes out. Fuck. Okay. Well, that'll be a wrap. I've been Tia Boo. This has been Girls and Pens of Das Finale number two, along with the Momo Kawashima lecture thing, which was fun. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. I, I really like this show. I really like this show. It's a damn shame that we can't just teleport to the future and uh, make the next one be out. Real, real sad. But that's okay. I've been Tia Boo. This has been Girls in Panzer Das Finale 2. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and I hope to catch you next time for something else. I don't know what's going to replace this show. I don't know how we're going to replace this show. No idea, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, thanks for watching. Peace. No, 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 no. I will, I will let the random cake that she happens to just get out of nowhere. I will let that slide. I will let that slide. But, but, but no. There, there is too much of a problem with this. Mm mm. Nope. Mm mm. Nope. This is too far. This is too far. Those are souffles. Okay. Souffles are really fucking hard to make, and more importantly, they don't last. The, the, the whole thing about a souffle is that it's the, the magical expansion of air that causes the whole thing to rise. And if you fuck it up at all, or you fuck up the temperature, or you don't cook it enough, it won't rise. And if you leave it for like a couple minutes, it falls. It deflates immediately. You can't have souffles out. You can't. Out of everything in the episode so far, this is the only thing that has broken my suspension of disbelief this is this is no you know better you know your food better than this not souffles any other kind of cake and i'm fine here not souffles sorry <laughs> i had to i had to rant on that one because it's not possible <laughs> we gotta go. Um, a, a pause of the G's for pausing immediately again, but hold on. Did you see that fucking cut? What? Skippity, 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 skippity. And she's, she's jumping onto a 3D object, a CG object. So there, there's easy stuff here. Okay. Hoppity skip. Boing. Click. Clack. Okay, so she just fakes it up to the top. Cool. And then we are in kind of 24-ing it. Because it's rotating around from the perspective of the camera. That's crazy. So... There, there are some elements to this cut that, that if it were any other kind of cut would be like, oh, that's a little bit jerky. But 
let's let's take a step back and recognize that whoever animated her had to be in line with the CG block of a tank object that's coming, managed to line up her footfalls in a way that feels right, even if it's technically not. Like, we can see that this second jump that she does doesn't quite work, right? Like, like anatomically, mechanically, she doesn't get enough um, thrust from her, her first leg to possibly make that second jump. This to the next one doesn't make sense. But it doesn't matter because it looks good. Now, not only is the CG tank moving left to right, it's not just moving left to right. That would be too easy. It's moving on, on a plane, like, toward us and then away from us because it's moving in an arc toward and away from us. And she's moving along with it. And then she interacts with it. This portion is really accurate when her foot actually hits the top of the thing and bounces off. She gets a little slide. Slip, slip there as she's moving on to the, the front of her foot. Boom. Jump. Twist as the tank is spinning. And then this portion as she actually hops into the thing. And we just got a bunch of artifacting, but you know what I'm talking about. is fantastic. And it's just there. And it, it works. It's smooth looking. That's... That's bonkers. Okay, let's go. What? <laughs> I gotta stop pausing. I, I gotta stop pausing. This isn't okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we do the setup. Barrel, 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 barrel. Going for collision. Going for collision. Obviously going to interrupt. The interruption occurs. It's her in big tank in middle of them. Boom. Whoosh. Okay. She's CG. She's not CG. She puts uh, uh, her, her fan in one and a hat on the other by crossing her arms, I assume. Because they end up on the other side. Yeah, by crossing her arms, she throws them like a badass. They clickety-clackety. Boom. She falls backward. We switch to here. And we switch our perspective. And she wriggles out in, I think, 24. It's mixed. There are parts in 12 and parts in 24. It's still fucking amazing. And then we switch our perspective and she does a freaking like handspring. In 24, perfectly up to that is so beautiful. Holy shit. Mari just went from like, ah, oh, she's all right to that's a, that's a badass fucking girl. I like her. <laughs> okay, first off, emotional context. Uh, th this is really touching. Second, what the fuck? All of the character animation just changed. In a good way. Once we get here. Okay. I know that voice of the character that goes, Momone-chan okairi. That one, I know who that, that that character is. I don't know who that is, but I know I know who that is. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but no, this. Yeah, we are. All right, that's what I thought. Okay, so we're doing the kill anything. The only place that I've really seen this before and really really noticed it was like in Hyoka. Um, because there are these sequences in Hyoka that are, that are mind-blowing, where they don't animate each character at more than 12 FPS, but they animate portions of the entire scene on different frame counts, so the entire thing is moving on every frame differently, um, and it creates a really unique effect that's, like, far beyond, far beyond what 
any other kind of animation would create. So, but we see it, right? Like minute movement from from little girl, minute movement from mother, next frame, movement from both, next frame, movement from mother, movement from her, 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 blah, blah, blah. This girl starts to move, blinking, he's moving. Like you can you can track which elements of the thing are moving at any given time and they make sense. And it's absurd. It it ends up being genuinely fucking absurd because it's like all these bits and pieces just start occurring simultaneously. Does she go 24 when she bows? No. Ah, when she stands back up. Yes. And then we do it again here. Everything's moving at different timings. These, these cuts are insane. But they're also purposeful. Like there's a there's a distinct purpose to this. It creates chaos. It creates it creates chaos on screen when things are moving like unpredictably like this. And so the idea, the sense that we get is that Momo is crucial for managing her family's chaos, right? That's a sense that is given to us by the animation technique not by what's shown not by what's framed not by the voice acting but by the choice of how we animate it not what the characters are doing the way that they're shown doing them the equivalent to using a particular lens on a camera right because of the choice of animated animation technique we get a better sense for the dynamic of this family than we would have otherwise. What? That's awesome. Okay, I want to go back. I just want to watch all these cuts again at full speed because they're gorgeous and I want to get back into the the emotion of this moment. We have this 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 look from Momo here where she looks down at the dog. There's there's this there's this sense of like of awareness of everything going on in this room and that all the all the characters are aware of everything going on in the room. Momo being aware of the dog being aware of what the fuck. I really want to know who put together these couple of cuts cuz it's somebody different than the main director or it's the main director deciding to go absolutely insane. I think I I would guess that it's somebody different put these together um they're like honestly they're like oh work these are like some of the cuts that showed up in pot labor movie three and and movie two um but they're different maybe a kyoni staffer i don't know I'm really curious. If you have any information on the specific, like, the animator who did the character animation is interesting to me, but that's not what I'm intrigued by about these cuts. I'm interested in who planned them. Um, who planned them out and decided where frame counts go, which I assume would be in the storyboard, but I'm not sure. It could also be an animation director or something, or it could be the main director. It could be any number of people, which sucks, but I want to know. Okay, let's let's go.